YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with the most expensive project pan first update. Uh, I'm doing this in collab with a couple of people. I will link everybody down below. I think somebody else even joined last time, so... And I forgot to mention this last time. This project is going for four more months now. It was five months overall. And uh, we should be updating around the third every month. I am running a little bit behind. I was actually pretty nastily ill <laughs> the last couple of days, so... I haven't been filming, I've barely been uploading. You know how it is. Anyways, let's get into the products. Uh, I haven't finished anything, and I probably won't finish anything until the end, so that's fine. But I did get something important to this project. I got a food scale. Yay! <laughs> this made me stupidly happy to actually end up getting, because for the products in this project pan, I cannot mark to show progress on. I mean, three of them, you can't even see the progress. So now I can weigh everything that I can't physically mark now. The one product I can mark is the Bare Minerals Bear Pro Foundation, which was one of the five products that was chosen. They picked a lip gloss, foundation, powder, a skincare product, and a body lotion. So this is actually my second most expensive foundation, but it is way older. Not way older, but like significantly older than my actual most expensive foundation, which is pretty new. So I decided to choose this instead, but it's still $34. Yeah. So uh, I started up here and in a month I have gotten down to here, which isn't a ton for me, but I was finishing a different foundation at the beginning of February. So hopefully next month I can show a little bit more of projects. Not at the beginning of February, the beginning of March, because it is now April. You see? And now the first product that I had to weigh. Uh, this is the Grande Lips Hydrating Plumping Lip Gloss. Mine is in the clear shade. I actually have another one of these in like a pink shade. Now this is one of those glosses that pumps up. So up until you get up to here, you can't see any progress. So I weighed it and it is 18 grams. Uh, mine doesn't seem to have any decimal points for grams. So I'm not sure how much that's going to bite me in the butt. This was a fairly cheap food scale because I was mostly going to be using it for this and once I move which I will be moving by the end of the month which will be a nightmare but uh when once I move I will also be using it in food prep stuff but I don't need it to be super exact for either of those to like weigh say a chicken breast but uh yeah so 18 grams there and next for my powder I chose the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, which I have been using all month. I use it both under my eyes and on my face, so yeah. Uh, the weight of it is 67 grams. I know that is like primarily packaging because there's only nine grams of product in here. And I am actually starting to see rings when I look at it. Like it's got a huge dip in it. I tend to blow through powder pretty easily. I'm really oily skin, so I have to set the crap out of everything so that it might stay on my face. And also because I'm using this to set under my eyes, I'm using a, not a super pointed brush, but a much smaller brush. So I'm actually digging a little bit in the middle with that brush, plus my powder brush is going all over. So I'm hoping by next month you can see Pam, but I will keep weighing it just to show how much product I'm actually using per month. Let's see. Um, next is the skincare product, which is another thing that there's like nothing about this is see-through that I can measure. It is the uh, Strivectin Star S T A R Light. Like it's got decimal points. You got periods at the end of every one. Retinol Night Oil. I managed to get into a pretty decent routine of using this. I mix this with my moisturizer every night, so. Right now it weighs 113 grams, but there's only 30 grams of product in here, so I don't know where it is at all. I'll just know that when it's done, I won't be able to get any more out, but I mean, right now it's still very easy to get product in the dropper, but when I try shining a light in there, like this whole bottle, you can always see through the bottom, but like all the silver part you cannot see through, so I won't know it's gone until it's gone. And finally, a product that once I start using it, I can actually start showing some progress on it, but I can't mark it in any way just because it's very, it's really hard to mark body lotions and tubs. This is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. This is the $20 one. It's not the big one, 
but it still is one of the, like the most expensive uh, body lotion that I own. I actually have not used this yet. And I weighed this without the top for whatever reason. But uh, it is 91 grams without the top on it. But this is what it looks like. So I figure I could probably, I know I could use up the little minis in a month and this is double the size of a mini. So I figure I can use this up in two months as long as I'm somewhat, even somewhat diligent putting lotion on. And I love this stuff, so it's not hard for me to remember to put that on. Anyways, that is it. So I'm hoping for to get probably about here on my foundation because I go through foundation pretty quickly and this is super liquidy. And I hope to hit pan on my powder by next month. So those are my goals. And that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.